You don't choose your Linux distro. Your distro chooses you, like a wand in Harry Potter, but with more command line rage and fewer sparks. And it says more about you than your Zodiac ever could. Ubuntu? That's a Virgo in denial. Kali? Big Scorpio energy. Today, we're diving straight into the psychological data swamp of Linux users. Let's get weird. First up, Ubuntu. You wanted Linux, but also the ability to open a browser without crying. So you took the path of least resistance. You're the whole foods of distros, polished, convenient, and maybe a bit smug. Everything works, it looks good. You tell people you run Linux, but what you really mean is, I run a glorified Chrome OS with pseudo access. You did not scale Mount Doom to install audio drivers. You wanted a Zen garden not a battlefield. And now you have six different snap versions of VLC because you clicked install like a maniac. Ubuntu users value peace, predictable UI, and software centers that look like app stores. You want to be free, but not like terminal only free. You believe in stable, drama-free computing. And you also believe in dark mode religiously. Let's talk about Arch. You didn't install Arch. Arch possessed you. You spent your entire weekend decoding a forum post from 2012 just to make your Wi-Fi card blink one, and you called it a win. Arch users don't use Linux. They summon it. You built your system from scratch like a mad scientist. Your theme? Unrecognizable fonts. Your window manager? Written in Lua, configured with blood, and operated via Morse code. Your rice? A visual masterpiece. You turned your ThinkPad into a cyberpunk altar. People ask what distro you use, and you just whisper, It's not about the distro. It's about the journey. You're not running Linux. You're ritualizing digital existence. Next. Kali Linux. You watched one season of Mr. Robot and said, yup, time to breach NASA. Your desktop wallpaper is a matrix GIF. You don't know what half the tools do, but you ran Nmap on your smart toaster and called it a pen test. You list ethical hacker in your bio, but your only real exploit was figuring out your school's Wi-Fi password was password123. Everyone tells you Kali isn't meant for daily use, but you're out here using a play Spotify and write essays. You're Googling how to install Chrome in a distro meant for cyber warfare. It's Fedora time. You tell people you use Fedora because it's bleeding edge. But let's be real. You just really, really love GNOME. You think the workflow is sleek, minimal, maybe even a little sexy. Fedora users are the people who own a mechanical keyboard and say, I prefer YAML over JSON with a straight face. You are not flashy. You just want a distro that behaves, updates cleanly, and lets you pretend you're not working for a major corporation while writing Kubernetes configs in a WeWork. You drink pour-over coffee, wear muted earth tones, and live by one rule. If it's not modular, I don't want it. Debian users. You didn't come here to experiment. You came here for order. You value uptime more than sleep. You've been running the same install for seven years, and it's still rock solid. You don't chase trends. You chase system logs. Your setup is 100% terminal, and you read man pages like bedtime stories. APT is your religion. Stability is your gospel. When others upgrade, you scoff. You don't reboot unless it's a matter of national security. Now let's discuss about Gentoo. You didn't install Gentoo. You compiled it from Atoms. Your entire OS took three days to build, and you loved every agonizing second. You live for the configure flag. You enjoy pain. Not just any pain, but optimizable pain. You think source code is a love language. You know more about your CPU architecture than your own star sign. Gentoo users don't use operating systems. They curate ecosystems. OpenSUSE enters the chat. You're that one friend who shows up to the party with artisanal cheese and a professional networking plan. You use YAST, which sounds like a weird IKEA product, but is actually a god tier control panel. You like control and cleanliness. You dual boot for fun, and you configure kernels like spreadsheets. You're the kind of person who sets up their own email server just to see. And you trust OpenSUSE like a Volvo. Mint users. You're here for a good time and an easy install. You're the it just works crowd with better taste. Linux Mint is your comfy hoodie, familiar, functional, and not trying to prove anything. You want stability, but with a touch of cinnamon. Mint users are the chillest species in the ecosystem. And that's the tour of the Linux Soul Zoo. So which distro chose you? Remember, there's no wrong answer, except for installing Gentoo on a laptop with no internet. Don't do that.